Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Here to do your readings. What's going on with you, Virgos? Someone rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. In the pre shuffle, the death card flew up at me. Okay? So some of you could be going through some type of ending as I split the deck. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Queen of, Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords with the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Some type of ending here. Possibly with the water sign. Scorpio's energy. Divine Spirit. Holy Spirit. What's going on with Virgos? What do they need to hear or know? Virgo. We have the Nine of Cups. The Five of Swords. Who is... <laughs> Y'all... Right off the bat, I'm like, who's playing games? Like, who is this? Someone could want the upper hand in a certain situation. Four of Swords. Yeah. You could be tired of playing someone's game. It's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Could be dealing with the Gemini. For some of you, lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Tired of playing someone's game. Wanting to bow out gracefully. Like, I want to get out of it. Let's get into it. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Four Virgos, Nine of Cups. We have the King of Cups. Four of Cups. Queen of Wands. Yeah. You could be rejecting a water sign. Some of you. Letting go of someone that you've had a lot of feelings for. This person possibly keeps trying to offer you a cup and it's like, no, I don't want the cup. Queen of Wands. Stepping into more so of a Queen of Wands energy. Fire sign energy, you could have fire in your chart as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm. Yeah. Aries energy at the bottom of the deck here with the Emperor. Whoa. Okay. This Queen of Swords energy is manifesting something with you. Mm. But you have other plans. A lot of you have other plans. It's like, no. They could be trying to reach out to you. I feel like someone keeps trying to extend a cup. But it's just like, it's not enough or you don't want it. Someone could also be drinking a lot with the Nine of Cups, King of Cups, and Four of Cups. Mm. Show me. Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. There's distance between you and this person. There's a lot of distance here. You could be missing someone. Someone is missing you here. Someone is feeling left out in the cold because their cup is not being received. Look, Page of Cups. Yeah. Someone wants to say something here. It could be an apology. What's the what's that page of cups there? The Har font Taurus is here. With the chariot, Cancer is here. The hangman, Pisces is here. Wow. We have three majors. So someone could want to move this. Into a relationship. Someone could also want to heal something with you. But something is being put on hold. Healing a relationship or healing a marriage. Someone keeps wanting to heal something with you. Show me. Judgment. Yeah. Something keeps coming back around or want someone wants to come back around. Two of Pentacles. Wanting a final answer from you. 
Yeah. Emperor and Empress. This could be a wife or a husband for some of you. Someone wants a final answer like, okay, do you want to heal this with me? Do you want to work it out? I want to work it out. Someone keeps trying to show you like emotion. Like I said, it could be a water sign. This King of Cups energy. Mm. Show me this Five of Swords for Virgo. Queen of Swords. Your energy. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like trying to persuade you. Someone keeps trying to persuade you to stay in this, to stay married, to stay in this relationship, to stay connected. Mm. Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. They could be scared that you're interested in someone else, scared that you're attracted to someone else. This could be, honestly, like someone like, Using sex. I mean, this came through in your reading last week. Yeah. But someone could be using sex to keep you trapped. With the energy of the Knight of Wands. They could be doing things like... Like, you know, going down on you. Giving you head. <laughs> like, just to put it real basic. Just basic stuff. Like, doing little sexual favors... Knight of Wands with the Eight of Swords to keep you blind, to keep you trapped. Doing just enough to, you know, keep you, like, satisfied, I guess, is the word. Three of Cups. The World card. Because they they want to reconcile. They want to reconcile. And they want to keep you in this. Show me this Four of Swords. Because what I was getting at the beginning was like, you're tired. You want to get out of something. What's that Four of Swords? Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Six of Wands. Especially if this person has cheated on you before. This person could have cheated on you and you could be walking away from them. Finally. Six of Wands with the Knight of Cups. You could be dating someone new. King of Swords. You could want to date someone new. Yeah. This could also be a person who broke up with you, then got back with you. Yeah. And it's like you're tired of that as well. The back and forth. The off and on. Sometimes they want you, sometimes they don't. It's like you're tired of that being flip-flopped everywhere. This person coming in and out of your life. And it's like they have a cup, Knight of Cups, but now you're the King of Swords. It's like, no, I don't want that anymore. I don't want the same old crap. I don't want that cup anymore. How's Virgo feeling toward this person? How does Virgo feel? Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. You're very confused by this person. You may be looking at this person like, what in the world? Five of Cups. There's a lot of confusion in the past. Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. You could have been dealing with this for the last seven years. Some of you, 14 years, because we have two sevens. 14 years, yeah, or the past seven years. Anywhere from seven to 14 years, you've been dealing with this. And you keep looking at the past, and it's like a big mess. This this is how I feel right here. All the pentacles have been scattered all the cups are everywhere. There's seven cups. There's seven pentacles. It's like too much of everything. And you're looking back like, where where did I go wrong? Like, wh what the fuck happened? 
Like, why did I let this happen? Or why did you're looking back? You're cloaked in this black cloak here. And you're looking at these three cups that are spilled. And you're like, what the fuck happened? Like, how did I get it so wrong? Or where did we go wrong here? You're trying to figure something out. You could even be trying to figure out your finances with this person. Yeah. Your emotions. It's like somehow everything got warped into a big mess. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. How is Virgo feeling? Ace of Cups. And you're ready for something new. Absolutely. Eight of Wands. You're ready to move on with your life. Eight of Pentacles. You could be working very hard to move on with your life. Yeah. Because you're ready for something new. You could also be going through therapy. I'm feeling some of you physical therapy. Like, I don't know if you've broken something recently or you could be going through like rehab as well. Someone's going through some type of therapy here. I'm getting that strongly off of the Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. This could be a big month for you. The number eight coming through significantly. Okay, the month of August. We are in currently in the month of August. You could be working on a lot right now, okay? Trying to get out of a situation, saving up money, working on yourself, working on your mind, body, soul, spirit, everything. It's like, I got to get out of the situation that I found myself in. I got to get out of these financial troubles with this person. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me for Virgo. What is this person's motive toward Virgo? What is their motive? Magician. Manifesting what? Three of Swords. Okay, we are done. We are done, Virgo. Virgo, we are done. We're done here. This person wants to see you in pain. We're done. That just made me want to like flip this person off. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. That's like a disgusting type of energy. Okay? Whoever the fuck you're dealing with, like, this person is a damn devil. Like, the energy is off completely. They're... I ask for their motives toward you, and it is to manifest heartbreak. Okay. Four of Pentacles. They could want to drain your bank account as well. Take all your money. Take everything from you. Justice. They could take you to court as well. With the energy of justice. Two of cups is here. Ten of cups. Oh. Oh. Nine of wands. That's what I'm getting. They cannot stand to see you happy. Whoever this is. Virgo. It irritates this person to see you happy. To see you blessed. Something irritates this person about you. This person is just sitting here, like waiting for something bad to happen to you. Virgo. Virgo. Uh, Y'all, I don't care what you got to do or how you're going to do it, but you, you got to get away from this person. You got to get away from them. Anything else you can show us about this person? Could be an Aquarius for some of you. The star is here. Or they could be well-known. Well-known in their community, on their job. When you get the energy of the star. They could have a public platform as well. Will of Fortune. Who is this person? Strength card. It could be a Leo. 
someone who likes to get a lot of attention as well. Mm, who is this person? The devil energy. It could be a Capricorn or someone who's just very toxic. Six of swords. They could travel a lot. Or they could always be gone here and there, everywhere. Who is this person? Could be an Aries for some of you. An emperor energy. Or if it's not an Aries, someone who's very controlling. Someone who likes to have the upper hand. Someone who... It's almost like a sadistic feeling. Like someone who likes to see other people in pain. Someone who kind of thrives off of other people's suffering. It makes them feel powerful, that star card. It makes them feel powerful, strength card, to see someone else's downfall. Or to see someone, you know, like, oh, you, you want money or you need money. They may have the ability to help you out, but they won't. It's like, oh, well, figure it out. That's just an example. This could be a highly spiritual person as well. With the energy of the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. This could be a person who keeps a lot of secrets. Or a very spiritual or, or intuitive person. Yeah. I just feel like someone enjoys making you beg or making you chase them. With the energy of the knight of swords, six of pentacles. Making you beg for answers or beg for money. Oh, Virgo. And if this is not a lover, this could be anyone in your life who is doing this or making you feel this way. This could be a parent, boss, co-worker, friend, frenemy, whatever you want to call it. Sibling. Wow. What deck do I want to come to? I don't even know what deck to go to. Y'all. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Virgos. Give me some insight. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Someone is spying. There's distance here. Someone at a distance. You may be distant from this person emotionally. They could live in the same house as you. But this person is distant from you. There's some type of distance here. Or you could be at a distance from this person. Guardian, you're being protected. Earth sign, okay. Cycles. You're being protected from an earth sign. Water sign is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you Virgos who are with a fellow Earth sign, a Capricorn Taurus, or a fellow Virgo, you're being protected from this person. Something has been faded for you to complete a cycle with this person, or you've been on this karmic cycle. This card has been coming out for a lot of the signs this week. And I said this to Sagittarius, and I believe I said this to Capricorn. This vicious cycle has got to come to an end. You've been in a karmic loop with somebody and spirit is highlighting an earth sign. They could also have earth in their chart as well. There could be challenges with a water sign. An air sign could be pregnant. Pregnancy with an air sign could cause challenges. Okay. Mm. My goodness, spirit is really, really coming through with a lot of messages for you guys. Divine spirit, Holy Spirit. Give me some more insight for Virgos. What's going on? Insight. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings here. Growth, change, liberation, transition is what the card says. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't end this cycle, this could be the death of you. And I, I'm not even playing with that. I'm not playing. I don't mean that in a 
you know, well, it could be, it could mean a, no, I I'm saying this could be, this could absolutely end your life is what I'm saying. Some of you could have already went through a, a type of death with this person, the death of your relationship, the death of romance, the death of your finances. You have gone through some type of death already with this person. The death of your livelihood, okay? Your career, your self-worth, it's not enough. Whatever you've been taking from this person, it's not enough. It's not enough, okay? It says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy, this is what you've been going through with this person and it is not enough. You've been dealing with a snake. It says competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. It could also be the other man. Like I said earlier in the reading, this person could have cheated on you and came back. You may have accepted this person back after infidelity, okay? And you're sick of it. This could have happened more than once. Anything else for Virgo? One more card, sunglasses. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. You've been gaslit long enough. This person is definitely stalking. We have the spy card here as well. Watching you, watching your every move. Some of you may need a restraining order. Take it a step further. You may need to move. You, you may need to get the heck out of Dodge. Like get out of town. Complete, you may need to completely go into hiding. Some of you. For others of you, it's not that extreme. For others of you, it is. I'm here to tell you exactly what Spirit is showing me here in this reading. And I don't sugarcoat shit. So if someone is offended, I really don't care. Because this is the truth. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me one advice card for Virgo. You got this on your last reading. I remember it so clearly. Peaceful resolution. Remember I said, if you come in guns blazing and trying to fight with this person and creating tower moments, everything will fall apart. The advice is to have a peaceful resolution. So that's why I'm saying you have got to cut ties with this person. And I I said this to, uh, to Capricorn in their reading. If you have to talk to this person because of children, properties, business, anything like that, legalities, talk to them through a lawyer. But do not have any personal contact with this person because somebody is crazy up in here somebody is crazy and your life could be at stake everything you own could be at stake so if you want to keep playing with your life keep playing with your life peaceful resolution the advice is to have peace you may want to bow out gracefully like i said earlier in the reading Alrighty, Virgos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.